Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this, we are going to discuss about exercise 3.4, question number 4. It says cos x, cos x x equal minus 2. So now as we know that there is no general solution for cos x x. So therefore, we need to find in terms of sine. So we need to take the reciprocal of cos x x and we know that is 1 over sin x equal minus 2. So now in this case, we have sin x. Taking reciprocal, we get sin x as minus 1 by 2. So now from the graph, we know that in first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. In second, we have school that is sin and opposite of it is cos x. So sin is positive in the second and the third one, it is tan. Tan and cot are positive here. And in the fourth one we have is cos, cos and sec, they are positive. Now in this case we have a negative value of sine. So sine is negative in third and fourth quadrant. In the first one it is positive, in the second one it is positive. But in the third and fourth one it is negative. Therefore the value lies in third and fourth quadrant. So we know that sine 30 is sin 30 is half, so sin 30 degree is half, we know. So therefore, x value is 30 degree. Theta is 30 degree in this case. If theta is 30 degree, now we need to find the value in third quadrant and in fourth quadrant. Whenever we need to find in third quadrant, it is 180 plus 30 as discussed earlier. In the fourth quadrant, it is 36 minus, sorry, 360 minus theta. So 180 plus theta is 180 plus 30 is 210 degree and the fourth quadrant is 360 minus theta is 30 degree. 360 minus 30 is 330 degree. So from third quadrant and fourth quadrant we get the value as 210 and 330 degree. Now what we need to do is we need to convert them in radians. So x is 210 and to convert it into radian, we need to multiply the number with pi over 180. So the value is 7 pi over 6. Now the second value is x equal 330 into pi over 180. Now the value for this is, if we reduce this, we get 11 pi over 6. So these are the principal solutions. Now we need to find the general solution. So finding general solution, we need to assume that sin x equals sin y. And we know that sin x is minus half. So minus half equal sin y. And we know minus half is sin 7 pi by 6 from principal solution. So this is sin y. Now y is 7 pi over 6. Now we need to write the general solution and for general solution for sin we know is x equal n pi, n pi plus minus 1 raised to power n y and where n belongs to z. Now we need to put the value of y. So x equal n pi plus minus 1 n and 7 pi 6 and in the end you need to write that n belongs to z. So this is all for question number 4.